What's up everybody? In today's video, I'm going to be talking about psilocybin mushrooms and a few other little side topics like uh, how strong can psilocybin mushrooms get, um, different sensitivities to psychedelics uh, amongst different people, and also maybe a little bit on placebo effect as well. Um, because what makes me want to make this video is yesterday I took 0.1 of a gram of psilocybin mushrooms the same ones that I actually took at that festival I went to that I said were really strong um, so I found out furthermore that these mushrooms in particular are very um, strong either that or I am completely placeboing myself, which is what uh, why I wanted to talk about placebo effect a little bit. So the main uh, idea of this video is how strong can psilocybin mushrooms be, and uh, do different people have different sensitivities to these mushrooms or these psychedelics in where they would describe themselves to be tripping before somebody else, you know what I mean? Or after somebody else, or whatever it is. So I'll tell you the story real quick. Uh, yesterday, probably around 10 a.m., I grabbed my bag of mushrooms and my scale, and because I wanted to take a micro dose, like I was like, you know what, screw it, I'm gonna take a little micro dose today. Uh, and if you're not familiar with a microdose, a microdose is where you take a sub-perceptual dose of psychedelics <clears throat> to benefit you throughout your day, be it put you in a flow state, help you focus, help you stay out of your head or clear your head or not be as irritable and stuff like that. So I was like, you know what, I'm going to do a microdose of some mushrooms today. So I grabbed, I opened the bag and there was this little piece, this little chunk of a mushroom from a larger mushroom it was like the skin of it a little piece and I put it on the scale and it weighed 0 0.9 0 0.9 uh, 0 0.09 actually 0 0.09 oh not even 0 0.1 uh, so 0 0.1 of a gram is a hundred milligrams 0 0.09 is 90 milligrams so I had a 90 roughly 90 milligram piece of this mushroom and it was bruised all blue like all throughout it was bruised dark blue and that's typically a sign of high psilocybin content you know that's what people look for uh, when they're buying mushrooms so at first I tore that piece in half and ate one half of it and probably like Five minutes later, I was like, I was like, screw it, I'm gonna eat the other piece too. So I ate the full 0 .09 grams, 90 milligrams of psilocybin mushrooms. <clears throat> um, and I wasn't ready for the events that were gonna take place uh, soon. In that, you know what I mean? Soon throughout that day. Uh, but I was sitting there and probably like 20 minutes passed by and I was feeling uh, kind of like stimulated. I was feeling like uppity. I was feeling focused. I was feeling ready to do whatever I was going to do, you know, and what I was going to do was go to the DMV with my grandfather to get stuff situated with me getting my license. <clears throat> So he was going to come at 1030. I had taken them around 10. And around the time he got there, I was, um, I was going, wow, dude, like, I'm kind of feeling this. I'm kind of feeling this little bit of mushrooms. And it's only been 30 minutes. You know, I wonder what this is going to build into. Because when I left the house with my grandfather, uh, I was feeling, like, very stimulated, um, my body felt, uh, I've, I've heard it, you feel like spaghetti. My body felt very like, like a full glow over my body. And I was like, wow, this is like kind of turning into a little miniature uh, high. You know, I was feeling it. And while I'm going to the DMV with my grandfather, 
uh, the ride there on the highway, my attention is like. My grandfather's really chill, so I wasn't, like, nervous and stuff. But my attention was just on all sorts of different things. I'd be texting, then I'm looking out the window, then I'm looking at the speedometer, then I'm wondering where we are and if we're almost there. And then I'm listening to my grandfather saying things, and I'm replying to him with things I wouldn't usually say. It's like my mind was really starting to get trippy. I was starting to feel uh, that that climbing sensation and I was just riding with it because it's like what am I gonna do you know I ate it I'm with my grandfather I'm not gonna you know what I mean I'm not gonna there's nothing this isn't a big deal so I'm just chilling you know and like I'm like going like this you know playing with my hands and rubbing my legs and just doing this stuff and I'm yawning a bunch I'm yawning a bunch and stretching while I'm in the truck and those are sim signs on you know, I've had that many times with LSD. As I'm coming up, I start to yawn a bunch. I start to stretch. I start to rub my hands all over myself and play with my hands and stuff. And this was all starting to happen in the truck. And I'm like, wow, dude, like, I'm starting to really get, I'm kind of feeling this shit. And we get to the DMV and uh, I remember, it's crowded as all shit. It's crowded as hell, but I'm in this like, like completely happy flamboyant goofy weird vibe and I'm just like walking around and I walk in and they're like you need a mask in here and I'm looking around and I'm seeing everybody with masks and I'm like oh okay I got gotcha, you I got gotcha. you I thought that was lifted but we'll do that um, and everybody like all these people having these social interactions it was all I could tell I was tripping I could tell shit was weird I'm like this is so like weird you know and the really positive light-spirited people were epic and so like easy to be around and then there were the other uptight you know i'm just doing my thing here at the dmv and you know you could feel their energy and stuff and i was like shit bro i really am like tripping a little bit and i'm like i remember there was this shrub that was all trimmed up and i was rubbing my hands through it because it looked really cool it looked cool as it was shifting all around and you could see the undersides of the leaves and then like <clears throat> like my attention was beginning to get grabbed by inanimate things that were beginning to appear uh cool and trippy and unique and like whoa that looks really cool you know so luckily my grand it was so crowded my grandfather's like here let's just do this some other time I was like, all right, I wasn't really feeling like waiting here either because we all had to wait outside because it was so packed. So I was like, yep, I'm down with leaving. And we get in the truck and within like what felt like five minutes, we're already back home and he's dropping me off. I actually know I went and did this thing at the public library just to, I printed off the application for my permit exam with the driver's license or whatever. And yeah, I'm walking through the library and I'm like, I'm fucking kind of trippy right now. And I'm talking to people like, hey, how can I print this off? And they're like, oh, we got a computer on the back left against the the back wall. And I'm like, back left against the back wall. Where is that? Mm. Searching around for these computers for like three or four minutes. And then I find it and do my thing. And I get home and it's probably like, 10, 11, 12, like 12 or one o'clock. Uh, I get in, I settle down, I sit down and I am tripping. I am, I'm not having hallucinations. I'm not having visuals, but my whole body is like what I felt in that very beginning. I was fully settled into that. It was this glow that was all through my body. My mind was very, uh, like, observant and just being able to watch the thoughts going, you know. And I'm, I'm literally just sitting in my chair over there uh, listening to music. I was listening to Spongo. I don't usually listen to Spongo, but I was like, you know what? I feel like vibing to some Spongo right now. And, dude, I got lost in their music. Like, 
I've heard it before that Spongle takes you to another dimension. It's like, yeah, yeah, it's just crazy music. But really, though, when you listen to that shit, and maybe it has to do with tripping, and because maybe they know what they're doing, you know? Um, I was hearing sounds I had never heard in their songs, and it was like a fucking language. I felt like I was part of a ritual going on, and I'm like... I'm not tripping balls right now, dude, but I'm, like, zoning. It was like I was disappearing into their song, you know, and that's all that was going on. And I'm just sitting in the chair, and I'm like, wow, bro, this... I ate 90 milligrams of these mushrooms, 0 0.09 of a gram which some people don't even consider a big dose, a gram, which is a thousand milligrams. Uh, I, ate, I ate 90 milligrams, and I was high off of it. I was slightly high off of it. And this whole experience lasted four hours, like four or five hours. This feeling of stimulation, and I could very well... Um, notice you know and i could i i was familiar with what i was feeling i was like okay i'm i'm kind of trippy right now i can i know this feeling you know what i mean so this kind of stuff has happened a bunch in my experiences with psychedelics like they always catch you off guard and like you eat a little piece of paper or you eat a tab and it's not that strong and then you eat a little bit sometime later and you're like tripping off of it. It's like they're really tricky, you know, they're really weird. And maybe it's just dependent on when you do it, how much you've done it. If it's the same dose, what your set and setting is and whatever. But uh, this whole experience brings into my mind, uh, at least this spirit experience in particular, how strong can psilocybin mushrooms get, you know what I mean? Because usually people say... The standard dose is three and a half grams, an eighth, an eighth of an ounce. Three and a half grams, that's a good starter dose. If I ate three and a half grams of those mushrooms I have right now, I would be tripping balls. I would be, it would be like I took like two tabs of really good LSD and I would just be full visuals, white knuckle in it, you know, like holy fuck. You know, I've taken more than I did last time, but less than a gram, and I was tripping, I was having visuals. Uh, so, how strong can mushrooms get? I'm pretty sure psilocybin itself is active, begins to be active around the, I mean, I, and you can't quote me on this, this is just a guess, but like two to five milligrams of psilocybin, you can begin to feel it. it, it like if you're taking like isolated pure psilocybin, Usually they take like 20, 15 milligrams, I'm pretty sure. And that's not hard to pack in 90 milligrams of mushroom flesh, mushroom tissue, you know? There only needs to be 20 milligrams of that 90 milligrams to be tripping balls. But you know, um, I don't know the specifics on how potent psilocybin mushrooms can get. But those mushrooms I have very well appear to be very strong, very strong. In the light, in the slightest amount of mushroom tissue, there's quite a bit of psilocybin present, you know. But what else this brings to my mind is, uh, oh, and I guess I guess I want to ask any of you, uh, have you ever had mushrooms that were like incredibly strong, where it's like you don't even need a gram to be really tripping off of it you know and it, and if you're akin with um growing mushrooms and stuff like that like how potent do you really think it is how does it how do you get it like that you know and is it normal is it normal to have mushrooms that are that strong you know but the next real big thing that makes me wonder is uh sensitivity to psychedelics uh, the other week or something like that I heard a video and a guy was talking about the density of serotonin receptors in our bodies differs from person to person now if this is true 
That means that one person that takes X amount of mushrooms, they're only going to be able to perceive it and activate it biologically to the extent of their own serotonin receptor density. And if they don't have a lot of serotonin receptors, um, they're going to need to take a higher dose of mushrooms or psychedelics in general to get to that, uh, be it desired effect or tripping state, you know what I mean? While somebody that has a high density of serotonin receptors in their body, they only need to take a little bit of psychedelics and, as you've heard it quickly put, they feel all of it. They feel every little bit of psychedelics that they ingest. And I personally feel like I am somebody, I mean, if we're going to say that the reason you're more sensitive to psychedelics than others is because you have more serotonin receptors than others, I'm comfortable saying that I must have a shitload of serotonin receptors because I can eat 90 milligrams of at least these psilocybin mushrooms and be having a psychoactive response off of it. And that's not... Uh, normal, I guess. At least, at least to me and what I know mushrooms to be. Which I can say, I don't have extensive experience with like I do with something like LSD or DMT. I've only taken mushrooms a handful of times, probably. Actual, like, experiences with it. Um, but man, this, this batch of mushrooms that I got just is like, wow. Like, those are really strong. They remind me of good LSD blotter where you can just, I, I can just take a little piece of it and eat it and I'm having a trip and can enjoy myself amongst everybody else that took two, three, four tabs, you know? And if I took that much, I would be like breakthrough zone, like gone, gone, you know? And I, I can't count on it. Because I've never taken four tabs of LSD or five grams of mushrooms or something like that. But with the experiences I've had and how high I have gotten, how hard I have tripped off the doses that I've taken, it all leads me to think I am very sensitive to psychedelics, you know. And this uh, experience, experiment in particular, was really interesting because, once again... I only ate 0 0.09 grams of these mushrooms. Now that, that it just it just blows my mind. And I said I was going to speak on the placebo effect, and that's because uh, there is the slight possibility that because I ate a little bit of mushrooms, my brain leads itself to think, "Oh, it's 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 going to feel this. This is going to create an effect," you know. So it leads me on by. Uh, simulating this slight stimulated psychedelic reaction do based off of the mushrooms that I had eaten you know so that's like that's a possibility but what I was feeling last what I was feeling yesterday that's this if that's placebo every trip I've had is placebo even the hardest trips because what I was feeling yesterday were the feelings of slight psychedelic intoxication and it's quite apparent when you've done it a bunch, you know what I mean? You've, you're just, you're all tuned up and your mind is doing what it wants. And you're, at least I'm just in this very like, oh yeah, I, uh, this feels familiar. You know what I mean? It's, maybe it was just my brain. Uh, or maybe I just have very strong mushrooms, you know? So yeah, I'm, I'm really interested. Uh, if you have any experience with taking, like, you go to take a normal dose of mushrooms or something and you are just blasted off your ass because usually you take that much and it's just like a normal trip. Like, do you have any experience with taking mushrooms that just seem to be 
phenomenally potent, very, very, very strong, you know? And uh, let me know about, like, if you think you're sensitive to psychedelics and if you know anything about what can make up the sensitivity to psychedelics, you know, I'd love to hear all that stuff because this is uh, really interesting to me. Like I said, I don't have much experience with mushrooms and the experiences I am getting, you know, it's like not only is the mushroom world really cool, really cool, uh, very familiar, but uh, yeah, these mushrooms I have, it, it's just like, okay, so there can be mushrooms that are really fucking strong. So, I feel like I'm just babbling now. Uh, thank you for watching. Like I said, let me know if you have any experience with getting mushrooms that are this strong and stuff like that. Uh, but yeah, I will be back with another video. See you guys later.